As mentioned previously, setting up an SEO strategy is going to be key for your content. As a marketing strategy, SEO considers how each search engine works, the algorithms that dictate that engine's behavior, what users are searching for, and which terms they're using. To create successful content for SEO, make sure that each piece of the puzzle is optimized for both your short-term and long-term strategies. For your short-term strategy, consider the following four elements. The first is your keywords. Good SEO is not about cramming in as many keywords as possible. In fact, you may be penalized for it. Organize your content in relation to your keywords or topics and make natural use of synonyms, abbreviations, and plurals. Next, think about your meta tags. Meta tags are contained within your page's code and highlight the most important elements of your content as well as help it stand out on SERPs. The five most important tags for SEO are title tags, meta tags, alt tags, canonical, and header. You also want to make sure your HTML is clean and workable. Clean HTML code is essential for your digital content so that both your users and SERTs properly understand what your content is about and the most important elements of the piece. Lastly, Google provides free tools to help you in this as well. They have tools to identify search keywords for your target audiences, track SERP metrics, evaluate your sitemaps, and analyze overall performance. Switch on the Google Analytics and Slash or Google Tag Manager integrations in Seros to make full use of all. We call short-term strategies short-term because they are all tactics and elements that you can implement on your content fairly quickly once your content and assets are created. Your long-term strategy comes into play when you really plan out your higher-level strategy for not only each piece of content, but the ways in which and how you create that content in general. When considering your long-term SEO strategy, think about these four things. The first is design. Comprehensive design is good SEO. When users are engaged, they consume more, interact more, and share more, which in turn boosts your search rankings. Optimizing your design for mobile will also help here. Next, think about your UX. User experience will impact your user's ability to navigate, understand, and take action on your piece. If a user can easily and quickly find the information they're looking for and take action on that goal, then they will consider your content or site a resource by sharing or frequenting often, which will in turn positively impact your SEO. Make sure you're also considering the interactions you have in your content. Including interactive opportunities in your content is a must, not only to delight and educate your users, but also because Google loves it. If users interact with elements of your design and engage with the content of your piece, Google will recognize that they value your content and therefore rank it higher. Lastly, don't forget about the time your users are spending on your page. The more time users spend interacting with your content and learning about your topics, the better it will appear to its SERPs, again, because Google will see that users regard your content as a resource. Now that we have a general understanding of SEO, Seros provides some built-in SEO features and customizable elements in the settings panel that will help ensure your content is accessible, readable, and optimized. In the next video, we'll deep dive into these features.